going on everybody? Welcome to part 76 of my playthrough for Okami. So in the last episode, we got hammered. <laughs> and now we are Isun size. Get it? Like, bite size, but we're like Isun size? It's, it's a joke. I made it last episode. No one cares. <laughs> it's not that funny. Bad jokes. Bad joke is a bad joke. But uh, it is pretty sweet being down to like Isun's level, and I just, I, I love the detail for Isun, because before he was just kind of that little, like pretty much the equivalent of a bug and like a little shadow, like we didn't really see him. Still love him, but now that we actually see him, it's like I love him even more just because his design is awesome. Like, look, his cape, dude. Like, he's got a little cape. It's like, oh, it's so cool. And yeah, we stuck into, like, the uh, the main palace of Seon City trying to figure out where this mist is coming from. I guess uh, I guess I got to give Waka some credit. The, the eye of a needle thing. He wins this time. But next time, next time he won't win. And yeah, spider. Crazy looking spider. It's a good thing spiders don't really look like that because that would be terrifying. I mean, like, okay, is this guy gonna... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, it's not the spider. Whoa. Whoa. Like, that's, that's a... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Hey. Oh, God, don't look up his skirt. Oh, God. Oh, God. We gotta get by this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's just mean. That's just mean. And, you know, oh, God. Not wind. You know, I think, I think Cherry Bomb... At the moment, I think Cherry Bomb is my favorite power that we have. Blow up, Cherry Bomb. Don't, don't make this bad. I just was complimenting you. Just because it's, it's like very useful in battle. I haven't uh, met an enemy in battle that Cherry Bomb... I haven't met an enemy that is immune to Cherry Bomb in battle. Yet. We might, or uh, maybe we have, and I'm just not thinking of it, you know what I mean? I mean, excluding bosses, of course, but... Can, I mean, if there is, someone let me know that we've already run into an enemy that was uh, immune to it. Who's, who's sweeping, like, the rocks? Oh god, oh god. <laughs> this is dangerous. Whoa! It's like he's trying to deliberately step on us. God, it's like that gigantic uh, dinosaur in... Uh, oh, come on. Oh, get up there, Amaterasu. There's got to be a way. What's with that bubbling? Can we... No. Can Isun, like... No, that's not Isun. Oh, no, it doesn't... It, the camera changes if I do that. Okay, black. Holy smoke. Isun... Nice! What is it? Oh, it's a key, isn't it? Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, well now we're probably supposed to double back. I imagine we probably can't get, like, by that guy right there. Looks like a sumo. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna guess. I think we're gonna backtrack, because we got the key now that we definitely needed. Oh, Gotta worry about those spiders, though. They, they, it's always, I always love those things in video games where it's like they kind of warn you about something and they don't do anything at first, kind of like... Like any kind of guard, like in like any kind of game when you enter a place and like the guard doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother you, you know, until you pick up the treasure. Hello? Is someone there? Huh? Are you mallet bearers? It's hard to see you from here. Mallet bearers? What the heck are you talking about? Oh. Who are you? Oh, uh, just a couple of passerbyers. <laughs> are you that girl we heard crying before? Sounded kind of fake if you ask me. Isun! You're just <laughs> some no good monster trying to trick us, are you? What? Oh. No, at least I don't think so. I came to Seon City to sell some of my grandfather's bamboo ware. But the emperor who lives in this palace had me arrested. Your grandfather's bamboo ware? Is your grandpa that Mr. Bamboo back in Kusa Village? You know my grandfather? He raised me back in Kusa Village. My name is Kaguya. Moonlight Beauty, Kaguya. But I'm afraid. That's about all I can tell you. I don't know why I've been imprisoned here. I don't even know who I really am or where I originally came from. Uh, another babe. <laughs> Let's look at them. The two of them are a great pair. How could Mr. Bamboo have such a cute granddaughter? Hey, maybe the man was good looking in his time, huh? Well, you just sit tight, honey pie. We'll get you out. The great Isun's gonna straighten out that mean old emperor. 
Then I'll come back and set you free. No, I... Um... Don't sweat it, sweetie. You just sit tight. We're gonna search every nook and cranny of this place. And I'm gonna give you that Emperor a piece of my mind when we find him. So, don't worry your pretty little head. My partner may not look like much now, but Furball here is actually a great Amaterasu. Now, just sit back and relax. We got it covered. Let's go, Ami. Alright, so, interesting development all the way back. Remember Mr. Bamboo? Dude was awesome. Oh, Kusa Village. That was, that was a good time. You know, I keep saying, like, Agatha Force was, like, my favorite dungeon, but I did, like, uh, Gail Shrine, the whole Kusa Village thing. That was, oh, it seems like forever ago, but it wasn't, you know what I mean? Like, I really like the pacing in this game. I gotta say, like, I, uh, uh, can we talk to her again? I don't know if this will help, but the Emperor buried some treasure in the corner of his garden. But please, don't do anything too risky, you two. You just leave it to us, honey pie. <laughs> got a nickname for every chick he meets. It's just, I don't know, I just love the whole <laughs> meeting babes this Isun kind of thing. His reactions are priceless. Did we just go backwards? No, we didn't. But uh, I don't really want to say anything because I, I just finished uh, Bioshock Infinite. It came out like three days ago and I just finished it last night. And it's hard to compare a game like that when I loved a game like Bioshock, which is an amazing game. And Bioshock Infinite was interesting. I'm thinking about making a, like a thoughts video or like my own personal review. Like I don't want to make like a real review because I, I like, I don't know, I want to be right in a real review, but like my personal review kind of thing. And I just, you know, I beat it last night and I'm thinking like, I, I just, I was thinking like, man, I beat that, but like I really want to, like, it's 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 really undescribable feeling just because that game is, it, uh, if anyone's ever played Bioshock, it's got like crazy uh, plot twists. Oh, we dropped the key. <laughs> Picked it up, Matarasu. It's got like crazy like plot twists and uh, like mind fucks. Excuse my language there. But that's just kind of the way the game is. And, uh, I don't know, like, I like the story, but I, I almost feel like I'm enjoying Okami more than I was enjoying Bioshock Infinite, which is, I'm not trying to, like, trash the game, but man. It's like, it, it was really good, but it was really complex at the same time, where something like Okami, I guess I should just appreciate separate games. I guess I shouldn't even, like, I don't know, it's it's like a very weird feeling that you get from a game once in a while. You know when you beat a game and it was, like, a crazy plot twist ending, and it's like, it ends abruptly kind of thing, and it's like, hmm. I don't know, I guess I was wishing it was a little bit longer, but... There were some really good things about the game and some things that lacked, but, eh, I don't know, I, I think I need more time. Probably shouldn't, like, I just, I, I'm talking about it now and I would talk about it all if I wasn't, like, I just beat it last night, so I'm really still, like, thinking about it, which is probably a good thing, like, if I'm really thinking about the game still. It's not a bad game, because if it was a bad game, I'd just be like, well, that was whatever, and I'd stop thinking about it. Are these bugs? Ah, they look like bugs, don't they? Like, creepy, let's jump down the creepy hole. Jackpot! <laughs> Why would the Emperor hide his treasure here? I could smell it a mile away. Check out that funny looking thing, Ami. That's what they call a platform spider. Oh really? Why do they call it that? <laughs> you see that? <laughs> they just go back and forth like that all day. It's weird, Ami. Our scientists are baffled. It's like they just were made for us. <laughs> they basically are harmless unless you stay on their backs too long. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool uh, mechanic. Some of them don't look like it, but they may throw you off. All right, that's good to know. That's that's interesting because you know usually you think of a game like in platforms, like oh I just jump to the platform, I take my time, but this is gonna be interesting. Are these acorns? Yeah, this is interesting, huh? Wait, I can't hurt. Them. Oh, did it drop money? What? Acorns equal money? Yeah, that makes sense. We could. I don't even mind like like. Uh, farming for money right now because boy we need some money we got to spend those demon fangs we got to get those master techniques all right so platform spider oh this so it's a cool design like better than a normal spider you know what i mean like the whole like uh, demon face that's awesome all right yeah i guess that my real point is what even like a game that like that like i, th I think okami's <laughs> like i'm really enjoying okami's story and gameplay like story is a very big thing to me in the game that's, that's, that's what I cared most about. Like, Bioshock's gameplay was very good. But, uh... And this is the last I'll talk about this right now. But, like, like just on par. Like, you, you'd think, like, something like Bioshock would just be way better than Okami, but... Which is just, I don't know, kind of a conceited way to think, or a mainstream gamer way to think. But, boy. 
Like, that, I think that's my problem. I think Bioshock 1 wasn't the biggest mainstream game, but Bioshock Infinite has become more mainstream. And that's what I really like about Okami. This, even though there are horrible, horrible motion controls in this game. Oh my god! Look at that! Like, I could not even physically do that. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Circle. What? Guys, I know I'm not the best drawer. Like, okay. Come on, you know like that third circle I drew was the pretty good circle. Was the pretty good circle. Alright, um, I like how big the clover is too, don't you? <laughs> I don't know, I like that, I dig it. Uh, okay, great. You know, we never did go back and, oh god, we never did go back and do that, uh, that box atop of Grail, uh, Grail, Gale Shrine. Well, outside of, oh no! Oh god, I thought it was a bottomless pit down here. Where are we? <laughs> oh, okay, it's way back up. But yeah, that place back in, uh... The other part of Shinshu Field was, was that? Yeah, that was a that was like another part of Shinshu Field. Oh, nice. Wait, wait. Let's not go in there just yet. Unless we're supposed to come down here. I don't, I want to explore a little bit more. But yeah, I'm gonna get off the subject of other games just because I I keep thinking about it. I keep going like uh it wasn't that good of an ending and then I start to think about it. I'm like oh it was a really good ending I'm like oh the gameplay kind of lacked here but then oh man it was really good right here. So uh, you know what I mean? I need more time to reflect on it. Oh great this. Okay, we gotta like grow these right? Is there a I thought we needed the moon for this. I mean, they're sparkling, so I assumed. Is the spider not moving? Move, spider! Huh, maybe we do need to go through there. Because I think that's the uh, the box, like, because we're so small, you know what I mean? I think that's like a treasure box. He's okay, let's get in there. Let's see what's in that box. We probably need to go in there. A flask? Is that considered treasure? To some people, Lee Soon. Specifically drunks. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. That's a blocking spider on me. Wonder why it got so bent out of shape all of a sudden. Now we're gonna have the heck of a time getting out of here. Yes, yes we are. Is it gonna hurt us if we get in here? Probably, we just can't pass by it. Jerk? Looks like a jerk. Oh, a flask, huh? That's kind of interesting. Oh god, that kitty thing. I think these mean like good fortune or something. Something like that. Like that, I don't know. It, I think it is good fortune. I think that's what those cat statue things are. Well, maybe we should cut down that flask, huh? Take a drink while we're in here. Pass the time better. Hmm. Maybe take just a little sip. Whoa! Whoa, we're inside a flask. That sake sure is good. <laughs> what are we doing inside a flask? Whoa! Hey, Ami, there's a strange mist in this flask, too. But it's somehow different from that mist outside. I don't know, it feels kind of comforting. Hmm, interesting. Well, yeah, compared to, like, spooky green mist, regular mist isn't so bad. Interesting. Oh-ho. Maybe... blow the mist away? Ooh. Wow. You're getting good at that one. <laughs> Almost too good, yeah. Thanks, Isu, because usually I, you know, I'd uh, spend like five minutes looking for the solution and not think of it for a while. I don't know why the Emperor hid this flask here. But he shouldn't be hogging such comforting mist all to himself. Yeah, that's right, Isu. Damn, Emperors. What? Hey! It's a starlight again. What's it doing here? That's what I'm saying, Isu. We are like under the ground inside a chest. Like, woof. Oh man. Haven't done this in a little while. Yeah. Oh, I love this little sound. Oh my goodness. Oh, you've got to be kidding. That wasn't good enough? Am I missing one up here too? Okay, you think there, there, and there. 
Okay, it must be the, the top point as well. That or I'm, like, the game is really unforgiving. Like, okay, I'm, I'm being really steady right now. I don't know what, the brush looks terrible. Here, too? Yes, okay, alright. Okay, make the stars go away. Alright, well, who would have thought the top one, honestly? So that's why the Emperor hid the flask like it was a treasure. Kasugami, the god of mist, was trapped inside. They say Kasugami can wrap the world in a thick mist that slows down time for all things. I really did feel like I was in a dream world with no sense of time. But enough of that. That's one awesome power you just got back on me. If the legends are true, that brush technique can slow down any monster with any single stroke, even blocking spiders. Let's try it out on that new power of yours right away, Ami. Just draw the marks that there are on the flask. That'll show that pesky spider who's boss. Alright, so, spider goes up, oh come on Isun, no no no, I know it, this one's, okay this is one of the simplest ones and probably one of the easiest ones to draw, if I mess this up on a regular basis, it's gonna be bad. Okay, uh, cause it only gives you one, okay, really? <laughs> yeah! What the? The blocking spider slowed down. What a surprise, we had no idea this would happen. That really is Kasugami's legendary time-slowing technique. Wow, Ami, you really packed quite an arsenal of those techniques. Blocking spiders should be a piece of cake from now on. Well, slow down anything in our way, no matter how fast it is. I figure out something else, too. The Emperor must have a screw loose or something. I mean, why would he possibly want to keep Kasugami in here? I bet there's... It's everything to do with that swirling mist outside there. Go, 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 go! Oh god, in the middle of a fight. Okay, well, now that we got a new power and we're in the middle of a fight, I think this thing is gonna be a good- Oh god, this thing is fast! Oh god, this thing is really fast. It's freaking me out, but oh god! Uh, for now, we're going to end things off right here in the next episode. We'll take care of this jackass with our new power. And <laughs> this is the best one. So for now, I want to thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you later.